of death and was dying to save man from his sins, offered the prayer, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom power. Which our Lord responded, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. God the Father has come to reign lovingly over his children through God the Son in time, Christ the King. In Christ the King, the kingship of David described in the second book of Samuel finds its fulfillment. In Christ, God himself rules over his people as David has done in virtue of covenant with them as they run before the Lord. Christ, in turn, shares his kingly mission with all who come to life in him through the sacraments. Above all, with all who receive the gift of his body, blood, his soul, and divinity, the heavenly breath of the Holy Eucharist, with all who live in take up daily the cross of pure and selfless love of God and me. Father Pro would not betray his kingly mission in Christ, no matter that there was the real danger of arrest and execution by the civil authorities, he brought Christ well and again to others. In doing so, he ultimately offered his life confident that Christ would bring him to eternal life on the last day. Celebrating Christ's King edition today, we first thank God for the sacrifice of His only begotten Son, the offering of His life, so that all who pray to Him in the words of the thief on Calvary may have eternal life. When we contemplate the kingship of Christ, we see the image of His fierce and sacred heart. We contemplate the richness of God's immeasurable and unceasing love for we consider all the ways in which Christ has loved us, saved us from sin, and brought us the gift of everlasting life in the church. Christ truly is our King, for He poured out His life for us without cease and without measure. We thank God also for Christ's kingly care image of our own royal vocation in him, the vocation to serve others. For the Christian, according to the constant teaching of the church, to serve is to reign. The parable of the last judgment recalls to our minds all the essential ways in which we are called to share in Christ's royal mission, pouring out our lives in service especially in times of great or special need. We refer to these ways as the spiritual and horrible works of mercy. Christ the King helps us to see his image in the faces of our brothers and sisters, even as Father Miguel Pro saw the face of Christ in his persecuted brothers and sisters of Mexico at the beginning of the 20th century. The world needs Christ now more than ever. Today, though often man assumes the attitude of the thief to rail against Christ, daily to recognize the kingship of Christ on the cross. Instead of recognizing God's fundamental gifts of human life, of sexuality and of religion, we violate the dignity of human life, the integrity of our being as male or female, and the free practice of religion. In doing so, we experience the disorder 
murder, the violence, the death, which ensues when Christ is no longer the king in our lives, putting all things in order. Then in our misery, we rail against Christ, instead of turning to him with a contrite heart and taking up with him the cross of pure and selfless love. In Christ the King, we have received the call and the grace to bring you to the world and to others by our fidelity to the teaching of the faith, to the life of prayer and the sacraments, and to the witness of self-sacrificing love. Our procession from your church, your parish church, to St. Patrick's both an extraordinary devotion which confirms us in our Christian vocation and a powerful witness to the truth of our Christian vocation. May our procession bring us many graces for our daily living in Christ. May it and our daily living in Christ inspire others to seek Christ and his reign over their hearts. The image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus is a constant reminder to us of our royal vocation and mission in Christ and receive from the glorious, pierced heart the grace to serve others in truth and love. If you have not already done so, I urge you to enthrone the image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in your homes and in other important places of your daily living. The enthronement of the Sacred Heart of Jesus is not merely the placing of a sacred image in our homes and other important places. It is the embracing a way of life. Christ's royal way of life, giving glory to God and serving our brothers and sisters, especially those in most need. By pouring out our lives with Christ in pure and selfless love. Today, let us acknowledge a new Christ kingship in our hearts and the share which is ours in his royal vocation and mission. Even as we go in procession through the streets of the city to honor Christ the King, let us also renew the enthronement of the Sacred Heart in our homes, acknowledging publicly that Jesus Christ is the Lord of our lives and rededicating ourselves to witness to God's truth and love every brother and sister, especially to those who are suffering and in great need, those who are alone and alienated, and those who have drifted away from God and his plan for our eternal salvation. Through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God, our Lady of Guadalupe, May Christ, who now pours out his life for us in the sacrament of his true body and blood, reign in our hearts, and through us, may his reign of mercy and love extend to all of our